Now in this example then, we need to prove that 1 minus cos 2a all divided by sine 2a is identical to tan a. So if we put our proof down, take the more complicated side, which is the left hand side here, 1 minus cos 2a all divided by sine 2a. What's this going to be identical to? Well, we've got to get to tan a, and tan a is going to be the same as sine a over cos a. So I really want to try and develop these into sines and cosines. Well, as for the top, we've got the 1 minus and cos 2a. Now, cos 2a has many different versions. Cos 2a, you should know, is the same as cos squared a minus sine squared a. Or, if you were to replace the cos squared a with 1 minus sine squared a, you end up with 1 minus 2 sine squared a as an alternative. And if you replace the minus sine squared a with cos squared a minus 1, you end up with 2 cos squared a minus 1. So you've got three versions for cos 2a. The question is, which one of these three could we replace the cos 2a here with? Well, I get a few clues because tan a is sine a over cos a. So I kind of want sines in the top here. So I'm going to go for this particular identity here, 1 minus 2 sine squared a. But I've got to remember, to because this minus, I need to put a bracket up here. So we've got 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Now we've got to divide this by sine 2a. And the identity for sine 2a, there's only one, it is 2 sine a cos a. So we've got that. Now we just need to simplify this by expanding out the bracket on the top. We've got 1 minus and then we're multiplying the bracket by negative 1. So we end up with minus 1 and then plus 2 sine squared a. And this is divided then by 2 sine a cos a. Can't do anything with that at the moment. Now cleaning up the top, 1 take away 1 is 0. So we're left with 2 sine squared a all divided by 2 sine a cos a. And can you see what happens next? We've got some common factors. We've got 2 which is a common factor. So we can cancel that out. Sine squared a, short for sine a times sine a, so we can cancel one of those sine a's with another one of the sine a's on the top. So we're left with sine a. So we have sine a then over cos a. And what is sine a over cos a? Sine of any angle over cosine of the same angle is always tan of that angle. In this case, tan a. Tan a is what we had to prove. All right.